You're watching Rewind TV in association with Bench and I'm Liza Doolittle. been up to in the last year has been going um, on? In the last year I've just been getting together my bands and working on the live side of things and I released an EP before um, Christmas last year and stuff. So yeah that's what I've been working on in the last, past year but before that obviously I was work, writing my album. Tell us a little bit about um, Pack Up. The lyric is taken from an old wartime song, Pack Up Your Troubles in Your Old Kit Bag. Mm -hmm. And just, it's just about being carefree and, you know, obviously there's so ho much horrible stuff going on in the world and um, it's just to kind of realise that how lucky you are and just to not care about what people say about you and drama and just kind of be, be happy, basically. It's a carefree, happy song. How did you find shooting the video and what was that whole experience like? It was unbelievable. It was just over too soon, I think. But what I did see was amazing. And, I mean, we were just shooting the whole time, so I didn't get to like go on holiday, basically, yeah. but or have sightsee or anything. But what I did see, just going around Kingston on a bus, basically, was really beautiful. And the people are so lovely and smiley, and I really, really enjoyed it. Actually, let's go back to Skinny Jeans a little bit because that did really well. Um, who's that song about? It's a fairy tale, I just made okay. it up, but I loved kind of making up that story and that scenario, I thought yeah. it was quite funny. So, but, so the skinny jeans are up, right? Or not? No, yeah, I don't like And them the big trainers. Oh yeah, you saw that on my blog, I can't, that's my worst look, and I saw loads of, loads of that recently, I thought that would have been and gone, but unfortunately it's, it's not going anywhere. Yeah. So how would you describe your style, what sort of uh, designers you're drawn to? Like, I really love Mark Frost and... Um, I love Louise Golden's first collection and Christopher Kane's first collection. I wish I could just keep wearing that forever, but that wouldn't be very fashionable of me. But <laughs> um, going back to the album, um, title, producers, vibe, what can we expect? Um, it's self-titled mm -hmm. for now, unless someone comes up with something good, because I can't think of anything. So if you have any ideas. Oh. The vibe is very summery, and it's really, it's all real instruments. A few samples and stuff, but mainly real instruments. and. Um, yeah, it's very uplifting and summery. I mean, thoughtful though, it's not like completely pop lyrics yeah. or anything. All the lyrics mean quite a lot to me, so yeah, none of them are love songs. It's all quite like just whatever I've seen and mm -hmm. heard or experienced or seen through someone else's eyes. I don't know, yeah. So, you, did you work with Al, Al Shucks much on this album? Because I know you were working with him a long time before he had Empire State of Mind. Like, oh, yeah, been... yeah, no, I, we did do a, couple, a bit of writing, but I think one of the songs might come out, but it's not on the album, okay. but it might come out somewhere. But um, I love working with Al, um, and, you know, I, I'll still work with him loads. So, who is, who is producing the album? It, it's mainly Craig Dodds mm -hmm. and Johnny Dollar, Matt Prime, Tim Woodcock, and Greg Kirsten, Phil Fennelly. Um, yeah. Okay. No, and no, no guests on there? Just you? No, it's group? just me. Okay. I feel like the first album I do, I just wanted it to be just an introduction to me. I don't want to boost myself through anyone. Do you sure. know what I mean? Yeah. And who is Eliza Doolittle? First of all, like the name. What's, what's the name about? The name is just, uh, it's just a name that's just stuck. I mean, Eliza's my name and Doolittle just went with it. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm from Camden, been singing forever, I mean, you know that. Yeah, I mean, my mum's a singer as well. She's, she's more of a musical theatre singer. She sings like big band jazz stuff as well. And my dad is, plays piano, mm -hmm. so that's his musical. Yeah, I think he played the viola as well when okay. he was younger. But I've never heard him play that. That would be quite funny, I think. It's the Rewind 100th anniversary this issue. Yeah. Um, any thoughts on Rewind? Any birthday messages? What would you buy us for our birthday if you were to buy us a present? Um, I think I'd buy you, get you a cake or bake you a cake because you always said if Eliza doesn't make it this year, I'll eat a copy of Rewind, so I'll get you a cake to eat. Because I don't make it yet. I actually <laughs> said that, so please. Well, I don't want it. It's 100 pages. I don't know if I can eat anything, but I don't know if I can get that down. So you, you're going to do it this year? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your sort of ultimate ambition? What's your kind of plan as, a, as an artist? I think just do be able to sell out a tour. <laughs> that would be good. And be able to travel the world. That would be amazing. Um, but we'll see how things go. Okay, we're running out of time, but thank you so much for, um, for coming down today. Thanks and, for having me. Uh, we'll hopefully see you very soon. Yeah, sure. Cool.